Uh, Why are people bad now? The Proud Boys. A proud Patriot group that stands for yeah, freedom. Yeah, stands for freedoms. That was going on. A lot of rumors uh, going on about that, and people are afraid of that uh, that particular group. Well, and, and, and this is one thing I want to say. If you guys watch my streams for years, I've been uh, supporting groups that stand up for our patriotism and stand up for our First Amendment rights and the Proud Boys. And now I hear you have some people that say they're conservatives, say they care about this country and they're bad-mouthing that group. Automatically, that takes them out of the conservative realm because they are doing the job of CNN and MSNBC right now. That is what they are doing. They are taking talking points that they've heard on mainstream media and, and acting that. like, and, and I'll call one out right now, I, when we were pulling in the parking lot, GWT, uh, yeah. I said, oh, you, you, know, you know about Santa? And I'm sorry, I had a bad feeling about GWT the whole time. He always wanted to get up there. Nobody wanted to hear him. Nobody wanted to see him. And he always tried to make himself on, put on stage. I agree on that one. I do agree on that. And I noticed that myself. And, and he goes, you know, you know, he's a proud whatever. The proud boys. Good. That's why I support him more than anybody else on the stage. Because if you look around, who has the gumption and the fortitude to do what this whole convoy was about? We just watched Ottawa. And these organizers thought we wanted to waste gas and stay in traffic all day, and that's all we were going to do. And when the crap got real, they fled. And now they're trying to badmouth the Proud Boys. That is all over this country that has been it. They didn't have a problem when they were numbers at each one of our stops. There was plenty of the Proud Boys. Each one of our stops. Plenty of volunteers. Plenty of people donated from that. The Proud Boys. That I call family. Uh.